Okay, thank you everybody. Thank you and welcome to a brand new season here at Queen of the South. My second at the club, of course, and the club's first in the Premiership since the 60s. Now, we're obviously expecting a very tough season, but uh, do we have any questions? Do we have any questions not regarding the Queen's recent spat of the heading? No? Okay, well, uh, wish me luck then. Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villain and welcome back to Queen of the South. It is Season 2, Episode 1 here at uh, our Scottish club. We're going to try and win the Champions League uh, with them, of course. That's why it's called the Impossible Dream. But first up, we have to try and survive a first season in the Premiership this season. And it's not going to be easy. Now, if you haven't seen last episode, Summer Transfer Special, go back and watch it. It'll give you an idea of what we're up against coming into this season. But let's, as ever, start the season by having a look at where we stand as a club. Now, the good news is that both myself and Ellie Roy are favoured personnel. So the fans, they seem to be on board, which is which is excellent. Uh, now, we are a... Uh, where are we here? It has a star rating. It's, it's different to what it used to be. But I'm the manager. T Carlos Tevez, in his final season, he has announced his retirement at the end of this season. He will be our captain. David Wheater will be our vice captain. I suspect he might be retiring as well, uh, judging of his physical attributes that are happening. Uh, general here, you can see we are a three-and-a-half reputation club, a professional team. And uh, that is good news because we were only a two-star and we're two and a half this season. Uh, our key player is, unsurprisingly, the captain, Carlos Tevez. And our hot prospect is one of the new boys, Lewis B, uh, a goalkeeper, of course, who we signed on a free transfer and does look to be a decent, uh, a decent prospect, I have to say. Now, facilities, uh, we have the uh, Palmerston Park just well, just over eight and a half thousand uh, people can uh, can fit in. We own the club, which is good. Uh, we have good training facilities, which is, to be fair, good. <laughs> you know, we start, definitely could have started a lot worse off than that. And we have average youth facilities and the junior coaching and recruitment is average and fairly basic, uh, respectively. We can work on that as uh, hopefully the team begins to build. Now, affiliates, a reminder, we have lost our affiliation with Celtic being in the same division. That has uh, ceased to exist so we just have and an athletic as a uh, as a dumping club, I think, for some of our players. Is that what it is? Anyway, that we're not going to use it, I don't think. It seems as though the only thing that we have is that we play a friendly there and they get the money from it. So I don't even know why we have this, to be honest. But anyway, let's not worry about it right now. The club uh, finances are not too bad. Now, I'm hoping that we will be able to get some more money out of the Queen as uh, the season goes on here. We've got 300 grand in the bank. We are going to have at least 600 grand in television money this season. That is just what happens. <laughs> That's the TV deal. So that is essentially, if we add that, 900,000. Now, last season... Um, what did we lose? We lost money last season, but does it say, where do we find out exactly what it was? Last season, we, we, we had expenditure of just under two and a half. We made, so we made a profit last season with basically the same wage structure that we have, although we have gone a little bit over. So we should find ourselves making money through the year and hopefully be able to request some more money for January to make sure that we are trying to, our very best to stay in this division. Now, let's have a look at what's expected of us this season. We are expected to fight bravely against relegation. Fifth round of the Scottish Cup, just be competitive in the bet, Fred. I'll show you how we've got on in our games in that so far. That's something for you to look forward to. If we have a look at the Scottish Premiership and the season preview here, we are, as expected, we're expected to be relegated. We are more than double the, the team above us in Livingston's odds. But let's not forget, last year in the Cup, we beat Livingston, we beat St. Mirren in the Betfred group stage, and we beat Dundee in the Cup, and we also beat Hibs. So, that being the case, we we've, it's one of these. We might be a chance of uh, of staying up, but... We're gonna. It's just going to be all about staying up this season. Media dream team, as you would expect. No, none of our boys are there. It looks like it's mostly Celtic and Rangers with a Motherwell and Aberdeen player in there. The key players in the league, uh, we can scroll down. No doubt lots of these names will come back to haunt us as the season progresses. Uh, we still haven't seen Ross McCrory. We had him at Sheffield Wednesday, didn't we? Still haven't seen Martin Boyle, the Aussie. Uh, haven't seen any Queen of the South players as of yet. And there we go. We are the last two players, Devlin and Fitzpatrick. No no, uh, no Tevez, which is maybe a bit of a surprise. But uh, that is uh, that is how the league is shaping up. So it's going to be a tough season. Before we get underway, we start our season against Dundee. Uh, we have some, uh, as some of the Betfred group stage to catch you up on. So let's start the catch up, starting with a team we played last year in the league that got relegated, Greenwich Morton. So let's see how the new look team did. 
We took the lead on the hour mark when DeBeo crossed for Patton. Granick Morton were level thanks to Devlin's missed header. But Goss picked out Patton who finished well to seal the points in stoppage time. So there were some positive signs in this one. As I said, it was a team we played against last season. Uh, uh, Yak Yakoviti, I think is how people have said we pronounce that, had a decent debut. Spittle at right back did fine. Uh, Forrick was okay. Connolly, maybe not so much. Patton, who may have a big part to play this year, looked good in front of goal. So we dominated it. You can see that from the XG tracker, 26 shots. It was a good result. It was a good result, even if the uh, well, good performance, even if the result doesn't look quite so uh, comprehensive. Uh, it was Hamilton next, the t another team we played last year. They are still in the championship for this season, but let's see how we did against them uh, in the bet thread. Pebez got the only goal. So not the most convincing penalty we'll see from old Carlos, but uh, it was it got the job done. Hendry made his debut on this one, as did Olafunwa at centre back, uh, Louis B at or Louis B at uh, goalkeeper. Spittle again played well, and yeah, it was it was it was a good performance. We were relatively comfortable again. The goals weren't there. But the performance was encouraging, I would say. Final game to catch you up on was against Queen's Park. We fell behind in the first minute. But were quickly level when Cassidy picked out Connolly. Connolly gave us the lead with 10 to play. Before he pounced on Cassidy's safe shot to complete his hat trick. So this was essentially the second 11 and they did they did okay and DT playing as a defensive midfielder in this one Olafonwa as a right back uh the young Owen is it Owen Hunter yeah Owen Hunter at center back it was fine Miller and Barron in midfield two of the new signings and of course Connolly getting himself a hat trick all very very good so the way that it looks coming into this and we can kind of uh take away the the <laughs> the blur is that we play Clyde in the final game. We have to beat them. That'll be our second game today. So we can have a look at that second 11. We'll get an idea of the full range of the squad today. And if we beat them or don't lose to them, we will be out of the group in. And it wasn't the easiest group because Queen's Park were in the playoff to come up to the championship. So certainly not an easy group, that's for sure. But to begin with, it is Dundee in the league. Let's get this campaign underway. We're expecting a 4-4-1-1, I suppose you'd call that, from them. And this is the team, our first ever team in the Premiership that is uh, going out. It is not going to be Louis B. It is going to be Eastwood in goal. We'll have a look at everybody's attributes so you can see how they're all moving on here. Hendry will be at left back. Maybe not quite training on as we would have liked. Yeah, yeah. Yakoviti is going to be one of the center backs. It's going to be Devlin playing next to him, and it's going to be Spittle as the right wing back. Uh, Furick is going to be the uh, the defensive midfielder. As was pointed out to me in the comments, a strength of one, which I hadn't noticed, with a jumping reach of four. I'm not sure we're going to want him anywhere near a defensive set piece, to be honest, but <laughs> we'll see how we go. Goss and Cochran in midfield. I think this could be one of the strengths of our team. Uh, Goss is left-footed, and uh, Cochran is right-footed as well, so that should be a relatively well-balanced midfield for us. Tevez is going to be very, very important in anything we do this season. And we're going to give Patton the chance. He took you some goals well in those uh, Betfred games. He's going to partner Roy, who was, of course, the star, uh, goal-scoring star last season. The bench is Lewis B. It is along with him, Wita, who is still quite good, just physically a bit of a shambles. Uh, Olafonwa will be on the bench. So will Barron, the uh, midfielder on loan from Aberdeen. Fitzpatrick, who we're trying to make into a number 10. Connolly, hat-trick hero, of course, and he will hopefully train on better, though it was made aware to me that uh, he has a determination of one, which is maybe not ideal. And Cassidy is also on the bench. He's back from last season, and hopefully he will continue his goal-scoring ways if he's called upon. All right, we can see the team sheets there. Uh, Charlie Adam is still going. There was another old guy in their team, wasn't Was it Lewentowitz? Well, the American, I think, was there last year. But anyway, um, oh, what do you say to this? The fans turn up through thick and thin. Let's give them something to remember. Oh, just have some fun, boys. First game in the Premiership. Enjoy it. We beat them last time we played them. Furick is nervous. That's not ideal. And here we go. This season is all about just scrapping for every point that we can. This is one that I'd like to think we could win, having beaten them last season. But equally, 
if we take a point, we take a point and we move on. There is not a single point we will be denying ourselves this season. Here we go with an attacking highlight. Spittle, his crosses block. Cochran forward for Tevez. For Goss, he said, oh, it's not quite not quite found its target, but we're going to get picked up with Devlin. There for Yakoviti. Roy, good ball for Hendrik. And Hendry whip across in. Patton's there. It's Patton, it's Patton! And Rory Patton, his third of the season, his first of the Premiership season. And it is 1-0, 10 minutes gone. That is a wonderful, wonderful start. Everybody got involved. It was like one of these, uh, you know, early game moves. Everybody gets a touch, but a good ball to find Hendry. Hendry whipped the cross in. Patton beat the goalkeeper. And it is a wonderful, wonderful start. We could, well, that's what we needed, isn't it? Hopefully that'll start to build a bit of confidence. And if we can prove to ourselves that we belong in this division, then that might be... Look at that, top of the league. We're top of the league. We're top of the league. <laughs> Not for long, obviously, but enjoy it while it lasts. Let's give him some more praise. St. Johnson take the lead against Aberdeen. None of those other results matter. I don't want to be in a situation where we're or well, certainly this early on, where we're trying to predict who's going to be down there with us. We're not top of the league anymore. <laughs> we just want to just worry about ourselves. The first half ticks by once we've taken the lead. Uh, let's point our finger. There is to be no complacency here, boys. And hopefully we see out this second 45, and we see it out with our lead intact. Now, we obviously have options on the bench that we can make changes. Spittle isn't having a great game there at right back. But I think we have to accept that from him, at least for the first part of the season while he gets... I've hit praise as that highlight started. Um, just to give him a, a used to playing the position, Devlin gets the header clear. Can Tevez get to it? No. And we go again. Four forward. Oh, it's offside, is it, ref? Please. No, it's not. Is it? Maybe it is. Is it offside? It's not offside. We just stood there and watched him. I mean, dare we say that looked very complacent. Devlin and uh, Yakoviti are there, and they just both, they both left him to each other. Eastwood looked like it went through his legs in the end. And it is 1-1 early in the second half. I did hit praise as that highlight started, so that's not ideal, but they're happy to be praised for conceding a goal, so I don't blame them, to be honest. Uh, Devlin is looking nervous. Devlin, I've got to be honest, is not looking a great signing early on. We kind of knew this might happen. Where's Wheater? There was always a risk it could happen. Wheater is the slowest man alive, but he's just about going to get there. And he's on a low wage, so if it doesn't work out, it's not the end of the world. Patton with a wonderful flick on there for Roy. Roy's in. I think he's on side. He's gone the dink, and it's gone over the bar. Oh, that was a wonderful bit of play, though, wasn't it? Let's try encouraging them again. Goss to Forrick. Forward looking for Roy. It's knocked down for Tevez. Can Tevez find a pass now? He can for Ali Roy. Come on, Ali Roy! Oh! Where's Cassidy? Unbelievable. I said there's no such thing as a bad point here, but Ali Roy has had... Two chances, and he should have taken one of them. And instead, it is 1-1 on the opening day of the season. And that's two points dropped, isn't it? We've been the better team there. It's one moment of madness at the back. And we should have won. We should have won that game. So it's a point in our first game of the Premiership season. I imagine why 38 points, 36 points is probably where we're looking to get to. So... Uh, yeah, one down, quite a few to go, though. So, Queen of the South missed chance to win. We certainly did. Is Ali Roy going to be one of these guys that was brilliant? Don't worry about that. We've dealt with that. That was brilliant in the lower division and then comes up and can't deal with the top level. That's That second chance should have gone, shouldn't it? Guys, wait right there. We'll rotate the team. We'll come back and face Clyde in the Betfred. And, well, hopefully we get a win there. Okay, welcome back. We're getting ready to take on Clive. It is all changed. You know, there was a question last episode, and I did forget to show it up off the top, but we did manage to get uh, or to study for our first coaching badge, so that is going to be good. Uh, just generally speaking, it should improve our attributes. It should enable us to just have a high reputation, all that sort of stuff. We should really be higher than half a star having won the league our first season. But anyway, uh, that will hopefully 
hopefully will help with that. But let's have a look what we're doing here against Clyde. Now, Clyde are a, uh, where are they in the league system? They are third in Scottish League One. So they are, um, well, they're, they're there with uh, Granick Morton and Queen's Park, to be honest. That's the division that they're in, semi-professional team. We're expecting, basically, for them to match us up. So that should be a case of may the best team win. And you'd like to think we have the best team. But it is all change. It's Lewis B in goal. It's, I should probably show you attributes for these guys as well. So we saw Louis B. Uh, we have got uh, DeBeo playing left back. Familiar name from last year. Devlin has been relegated to this team. He's going to partner Owen Hunter at the back. It's going to be Olafunwa going as the uh, right back in this one. And DT. He's going to be the halfback. It's uh, it's going to be Murray Miller, our token Australian in midfield with Barron, who is on loan from Aberdeen. Fitzpatrick goes as the number 10, a strike duo of Connolly, who got a hat-trick last time he played, and Cassidy, who, uh, well, let's see what he can do on loan from Watford, of course. All right, so we can see the lineup here. David Goodwillie, he's still going around. Um, yeah, so we can see the lineups here. Now, typically, we won't be going into cup games. I don't feel like they're important this season. But what this is, it gives us a chance to basically see everybody in the squad at this point. Um, let's go out there and put a bit of pressure on us to get a performance against them. This is short of one or two other goalkeepers and some youth prospects. This is pretty much our entire squad uh, as things stand right now. So we'll get we can literally see everybody. Uh, well, not literally because there's two backup goalkeepers we can't see. But yeah, it'll give us an idea of of what we have to work with. Now, ideally, Olafunwa will play as a centre back. It's just kind of needs must. If Spittle needs a rest, it'll be him or it'll be Nditi that'll play over there. So that is it is what it is. It's just the realities I think of uh, of this having the budget, the size that we have, that we just can't have two proper players in every position we'll keep looking as the season goes on i mean last season i think i said this in the transfer special we picked up the likes of wita and tevez through the season so there's nothing to no reason to think that we won't be able to do something similar again this season uh and of course the budget is in as you saw at the top of the episode it, it we are in a fairly good position with the budget so i'm hopeful that we we'll, might even be able to get an increase in the in how much we have in the wage budget or get a transfer budget, we can then transfer into the wage budget. Olafunwa wins that back, can't fight, can't quite even find Connolly. Here we go with Baron. Baron looked a decent player when he played against Queen's Park in the last game in this competition. He makes a good run there. Olafunwa finds him. Baron, ball for Con. No, it's Cassidy. He's at the post. He may have been offside, though. So, slightly disappointing there. That hasn't ended up in the back of the net for us. It may take a little bit. Of, we saw it last. Uh, debayo has got an injury. Uh, what's he done to himself? Hopefully it's not serious. It hasn't come up with, it, with anything. It would mean... I don't even know who's on the bench. I don't think Hendry's on the bench. Olafunwa with a cross. It's there for Connolly. Oh, Cassidy it was again. And this time it hits the post and goes over. It can't be too serious because it's not showing anything there. Hunter gets it wide for Olafunwa. Goes back there for Nditi. Nditi is capable of playing as a halfback. He's got passing and vision of 10. So, he, you know, he can go back in and he can pass the ball out. Ideally, it won't be where he plays. But because we're not really taking it that seriously, Connolly with a good ball for Cassidy. Third time's a charm for Cassidy. No. Oh, Cassidy and Roy. So good for us last season. Cannot hit a barn door to start the season for us. And it's another frustrating nil-nil. Uh, the scoreline doesn't reflect the pattern of play. We can just about get on board with that. We have faith in you here, boys. And please go and uh, get a goal here for us. Uh, Iacotti, no, I Iacoviti. Iacoviti could possibly go and play left back for us. That's his natural position, I think, but... All right, let's try raising the tempo and getting rid of that. No, no, yeah, that's right. See if that works for us. And we begin with a highlight to defend a corner. It is away. Baron can't quite get there. This is trouble. It's big trouble. And that might eliminate us from the bet, Fred. Which is not really... I mean, it's, it is what we want, but it's not really... Because <laughs> we can get some money if we go a little bit further in it, of course, which is what we want to do. We want to win, but we want to win with the second 11, if that makes sense. Devlin just didn't even get out to it. Lewis B just kind of flapped. 
and let's try a berating and try and get them on board here. Uh, I mean, we've had so many shots, but we're just not hitting the target. What else can we do? What I don't want to do is fall into the trap of bringing players off the bench here because let's try that. Because we've got Hibs up next and we want to have a strong team to play Hibs. Let's try a higher line. Try and going, winning the ball back. Baron again has played well, so that's something we can kind of cling to. Can we try a fire up? Well, this has not particularly gone to plan, has it? We've got a highlight. A goal would be enough to seal the group. We only need to avoid defeat. I'm not sure if they beat us, what that means. I don't know if, what the head-to-head -head is, or what the tiebreak is, if it's head-to-head -head or goal difference. We might still have them on goal difference. Olafunma with a ball across. It's headed away. Devlin should pick it up. Forward for Debeo. Nditi, Fitzpatrick. We haven't seen anything of him, have we? Olafunwa. Can he whip across? And he's not the best crosser of the ball. He does. He gets a great ball in and it's blocked and it's gone behind. And it was Fitzpatrick. 90th minute. Baron with the corner. Can we find a centre back? It's Miller. Oh, and our token Australian gets it on target. But it's not enough. And are we going to get through the group with a loss here? I don't. We're going to find out because we have lost the game. Look at that XG tracker. That is ridiculous. How have we lost that game? That is a crime against itself. Um, I mean, we should have won that game. And it does cost us. We crash out of the Betfred Cup and potential prize money that comes with it. Yeah, it's one of these, isn't it? Where it's disappointing. But obviously, it's. I didn't want to play the, the, any of the first team players. Devlin is... He only played a 6.4 again against League One opposition. He is becoming a little bit of a problem, isn't he? Maybe maybe it's just a slow start to the season. But guys, that will do it for today. If you have enjoyed that, make sure you hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. We'll be back next time. I think what we'll do is we'll come back for a trip to Celtic Park and then Dundee United as well. The other side of uh, that, that road down Dundee. And that'll be a home game, of course, though. And, well, we got a point in the game that really mattered. Let's hope we can do maybe a little bit more than that next episode. Maybe three against Dundee United. Take care.